guys, it's me Annie and welcome back to another bookish video. So for today's video, I'll be talking about a book that I just recently finished. But before I go ahead and tell you about this book, I want to share a really funny experience that we had two weeks ago. So my husband and I were at the mall and as usual, I was carrying a book with me. And before we went home, I told him that I needed to go to the bookstore. And so we did. But just as when we were entering the bookstore, the security guard suddenly stopped us and said, I'm so sorry you can't come in because you have a book with you. And I looked at my husband and I said, yeah, he's right. I don't want people to think that I stole this book or I'm a thief or something like that. And you know what was very ironic during that time when I said that? This. The book that I was carrying was about stealing books and that was super funny. So yes guys, the book that I'll be talking about today is none other than The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak. I was actually buddy reading this book with my friend Naomi from Naomi's Book World and I just want to give a shout out to her right now because it was her birthday yesterday. Happy birthday Naomi and thank you so much for buddy reading with me. You're such a great person. I really love getting to know you. If you guys haven't checked her out yet, I'll put a link to her channel down in the description box below. She is such a nice friend and I'm sure you're gonna love her as well. You know, going back to the book thief, I actually gave it a 5 stars in Goodreads because I absolutely love it. First reason why I love this book is that it's a World War II story and I don't know there's something about World War II stories that really touched my heart. Another interesting thing about The Book Thief is that it was told in Death's perspective. I think it's my first time to read a book where Death was a real character like he had his own voice and he was personified very well in this story. So it was World War II and death has never been busier. Like so many people were dying, Germans, Jews, Russians. And while all of that was happening, death was telling us the story of this young girl named Liesel. So Liesel was this German girl who was orphaned at a very young age. She lost her mom, she watched her brother die, and she was sent to a foster family. And when she arrived her foster home, she really did not know how to read or to write. She wasn't educated at all. But later on in the story, she developed a very peculiar habit of stealing books. And with the help of her foster dad, she eventually learned how to read books. And although I'm not a very big fan of stealing, I don't know who is, <laughs> but Liesel's book thievery actually turned out to be a blessing. She would read to her neighbors during bomb raids, she would read to a friend who was really depressed, and it just occurred to me how powerful and comforting words and stories are. And I actually found that to be true because this week I was having a lot of bad days, but I noticed that whenever I would read a book or read stories, I always felt better. Another thing I like about The Book Thief is the pacing of the story. Even though it's not really a fast-paced novel, I didn't mind because the author really gave me enough time to get to know the characters. I got to see them grow and develop and change, especially Liesl's mom, I mean foster mom, Rosa. Man, at the beginning part of the story, I didn't really like her. She has such a big mouth. But later on, as the story progressed, I found out that she was actually a very kind person and I love that. And so many other characters have grown and developed. And I also think the author's writing style was very interesting because Marcus Zusak has this habit of spoiling you. Like he would drop some information but then he would hold back. Like for example, there was this one character in the book where you suddenly read that he's gonna die. And I'm like, no, he can't die. And then Marcus Zusak won't tell you like when or how he's gonna die and he's like leaving you hanging the whole time. Yeah, this book has a lot of suspense. I was always at the edge of my seat and on my toes and I was always, you know, waiting and wanting to find out what was gonna happen next or who was gonna die when. It was just crazy. I love books like that. I never got bored while reading this book. It's like over 500 pages long but I loved every single page of it. And you know, although this book is very dark and sad, I was reading about how the Jews were treated, how they were oppressed, and I was not happy at all. And yeah, this book has a lot of those sad moments. But also, um, what I love about The Book Thief is that it shows how beautiful things can still happen even in the midst of a war. And I guess my favorite thing about The Book Thief is how it strongly emphasized the power of relationships. 
I loved Liesl's relationship with her foster parents. You could really feel the love, the connection. And I forgot to mention that Liesl's family was actually hiding a Jew down in their basement. And that just made me feel even more nervous throughout the story because anytime they could get caught, like anything bad could happen. And you know, when Hitler finds out, you're dead. And I really, really appreciate that Liesl's family still did their best to care for that Jew, to treat him as a family and as a friend. And, you know, being a Jew is just a label. That person down in the basement is still a person. He still has worth. And that's something that Liesl's family really understood. And other than her relationship with her family, I also really loved the friendships that were formed in the story. Liesl and her best friend Rudy, Liesl and her friendship with the Jew, and a lot of other unexpected friendships that were formed. And I think that was just a really powerful message to me. You know, love and friendship are very strong and not even the war could destroy that. There was one thing, however, that I feel like I didn't like about the book and that was the fact that I wasn't emotionally prepared for the deaths. There were people who died that I did not expect would die and I felt like I was cheated. <laughs> I know, that's just me. I, I wasn't prepared for, for the deaths and it hurt. I just want to say that it hurt a lot. Yeah, but anyway, overall, I absolutely adore this book. I would highly recommend it to anybody who loves historical fiction, World War II stories, or just stories about love, friendship, and family. But of course, I know we all have different reading tastes. I know some people consider historical fiction as out of their comfort zone and that's really okay. But if there is any point in your life that you would like to try historical fiction, I would highly suggest you grab The Book Thief. You will love it. So for those of you who have already read The Book Thief, I would love to know what your favorite scene was or who was your favorite character or what was the part that really touched you the most. I would love to know your thoughts about this book, so go ahead and write in the comment section below. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down there for more bookish videos. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!